guys. Sorry for the noise. They're uh, doing construction on the uh, one of the pools. Uh, we've decided to uh, spend a bit of time by the pool this morning. Uh, last day in Vegas, sad times. Uh, but we thought we'd have an hour or so by the pool, enjoy some sunshine before uh, I go back to the UK. Uh, Jess is not actually coming with me this time. She's going to spend a week in California with her parents uh, to catch up with them for a week. So uh, we're going our separate ways today. But yeah, we definitely wanted to spend a little bit of time by the pool on our last day. So we will uh, enjoy some time out here and then uh, we'll be back in a bit. Hello guys, uh, last time we spoke to you we were at the pool, uh, we went back to the room, sorted a little bit of stuff out, well basically went back to the room and then went straight back out to uh, have some food, went to Diablo's, uh, we go every trip, uh, but we've been waiting for it not to be blacked out uh, on the My Vegas app, so we uh, used it today, because uh, it was the first day that it wasn't blacked out. Then we've been uh, in the room for the last hour or so packing um, packing all the cases and everything so we are pretty much packed now and we're going to have a one last gamble in Mandalay Bay before we have to leave so hopefully we will be back with bonuses shortly. Uh, Diablo's was great as usual, uh, we've basically tried loads of things on the menu now in the multiple trips that we've been there. Uh, it's always really good food, isn't it, Jess? Yes, and it's always good to have Mexican food before we go back to the UK, but I'm not going back to the UK, so I'll still have more Mexican food. Yeah, so Jess is excited to go and see her parents and uh, spend some time with her family and friends, so... Oh, I get to see my grandma. Oh yeah, and she gets to see her grandma that she hasn't seen for ages because she uh, lives in Mexico, but she's visiting America at the moment, so... Um, yeah, she's excited about going there. We're sad to leave Vegas. Jess is excited. I'm not so excited. I've got to go to work in a couple of days, but never mind. I'll join you next week. I'll be going back to work next week. Don't you worry. All good things have to come to an end and it'll make us look forward to the next trip. We don't have one planned yet, but uh, it won't be that long. So uh, we will leave you with that. Uh, and we'll be back with a bonus shortly, hopefully. In Mandalay Bay, first bonus is uh, Dancing Drums Prosperity. I'm going to go for 10 free games. Let's see what we can get. I only put 20 in. Uh, I had to get a new card and uh, got I left it in a machine last night. So for some reason it says first time player. So I'm hoping they haven't messed up my account. But so that's three of 10, $8.20 so far. See if we can get a nice load of food dogs. Oh, that's on 
too bad, 510. We can close the pot, that'd be great as well. Two spins to go. Final spin. Not a lot towards the end, but I put twenty dollars in and basically got my money back, so I'll probably run it back down to twenty and then take it. So we're in Mandalay Bay for our last day, set times. And I'm playing Tarzan and I got the holding spin. And I already have a mini. I put ninety dollars in. Lowest bit is one dollar. Come on. Yes. 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 Keep on coming, Tarzan. It has cool sound effects. Vegas trip because we only have a couple of hours left and for my random slot of the day I decided to do this one now I don't know what his or her name is but it's legend of and you can decide how you want to say that name Chang E change or I don't know anyways twenty dollars in on Sandino we are doing, I think we're doing two times. It's a dollar bet. We'll do a dollar and fifty. I'm assuming we need three of those. Thank you. 
Okay, the 70 cents. Now we, we need the multipliers here. Game five of nine, six of nine. I don't understand what the hell is going on, but okay. That was just a normal wild. Oh, we got two of them there. What is it? That's two. That was only 40 cents. Last game after this. Go to one. Damn it. Okay. Ten seventy-eight. That's all right. There we go. Twenty-six eighty. We have finished this random slot of the day with a win. I call that a win. So I'm gonna take it down to 20. If I get anything else, I'll be back. But life of, oh no, not life, legend of that name is a win. Hello guys, we've moved on. Uh, you've seen Jess play Tarzan. I had to get them going, didn't get anywhere. Uh, we've moved on to this, uh, I don't ever know what it's called, it's the baby game. Um, but we've got the rocket and locket respin feature again, like we got in uh, Resorts World. So let's hope we can get a bonus like that. I'm doing two cent, one dollar a bet. But we haven't had any fireworks this time, so that's what we really need. Unless he wants to drop in one of the progressives, and I'd love that as well. Last spin, need something from this one. Oh, that's a bit of a short one. So it's double that because it's two cent. Well, the baby's happy with himself anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure what this game is called, but it's a kind of a creepy baby, so that's what we'll call it. Uh, we'll be back if we get anything else. So, two or three spins later, we've now got the uh, pick a coin bonus, and Jess is going to pick the coins for me, seeing as she stood here, and then you can get, you can see what I'm doing. So we need, I think we need numbers all the way, but we need an extra pick. Oh no, that's just numbers. Keep going, babe. Need an extra pick. Oh, that's it for this one. There were all the extra picks. Oh, we got we got a couple of bonuses, but uh, they've not been that high yet. I'll continue playing for a bit. See if we can get a good one. So I decided to cash out my ticket from my random slot, and I played. The epic fortunes, the creepy babies, like Nigel calls them, and I lost it. So I put in another twenty dollars in here. I don't know what this is called. Long Tang Hu Xiao, Mighty Cash. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I don't know. But I just hit free games. I got eight free games. So let's go. I put twenty dollars. I was down to twelve seventy one. I can speak freely here because the other, my random slot, there was a lady next to me. She just kept staring, so I was like, mm, okay. But here, we are free. Don't know what I'm looking for here. I think you need to get a certain amount of those diamond looking ones. And then you can get extra free spins. But I'm not sure. But it's okay, we learn as we go. Sometimes you learn faster than I do, but it's all right. Oh, that paid 5.84. Halfway there. Free games, four of eight. I have 
to lower the volume because it was severely loud. And now you can't really hear it, but it's okay. Seven of eight. Nothing. Last spin. Eleven seventy-eight. Not bad. Look at the fireworks. I'm up to twenty-four forty-nine. I'll keep playing for a bit. I didn't catch it on time, but I had a shaky, shaky screen, and a dragon came out, and then I've got an egg free games again. I put up the volume to the second level, so it's a bit louder now. Probably a bit too loud now, but you can experience the music with me. I think I need six of those. Come on! Come on! Oh. oh, we're halfway there and we've only won 170, so not great. That's okay, we shall carry on. Alright! So, I uh, moved on to play Tiki X Wheel. Um, not played this one before. Trying to play something different while we're in uh, Mandalay Bay before we go out. Uh, managed to get the free game, so let's see what happens on this one. So we've got six free games. Nothing. Okay. It's not going great so far. Still haven't won anything yet. Okay. So there's some numbers that are going up the top. So I'm guessing we might get the wheel after that. We need some more numbers to turn up. We're only up to $2.30. Well, that might be all right. Okay. It's a wonderful line here, apparently. I'm not sure what that is. We'll hit the button and find out. 13.40, very nice. Okay, and then we're going to do the wheel up the top. So 20 times would be lovely. I think that's the highest. As long as it's not a low one. Wow. Two times after all that. So a grand total of $18. It's a bit of a strange one. Uh, it's X Wheel Tiki. And Jess is playing the uh, chili one next door. So we'll be back if we get anything else. Uh, moved on to Luxury Line Cash Express. Uh, we're going to go for the Luxury Line feature. Let's see what we can get. Be back if I get anything else. Four coins this time, uh, win 750 for the scatter. Uh, I'll play luxury line again, see if we can get anything better. Oh, we've got the train this time, we just need to collect it. Come on. Oh, just to collect. I think we still get the purple train though. See if we can get anything good. Not a mini, so it's 
see what's on it. Five dollars is nice. Oh, another five dollars, that's nice. There's some big trains. Is the Mini on the train or is it on another train? I don't know how this works. Oh no, that sounds like it's it. And then it collects the rest. Nice, $32 win. Not really played this game before. Um, I played it in Fountain Blue for the first time and uh, enjoyed it. Thought I'd give it another go. I managed to get four coins. Up to $60 now. I'll play on for a bit longer. So me and Jess have decided to put 100 each in uh, Dragon Link before we go. Jess is playing Autumn Me and I'm playing Happy and Prosperous. Got the Holden Spin. We're watching a guy over there that's uh, just won a nice hand pay on Dancing Drums Explosion. So uh, hopefully uh, we can get one too before we leave. But we will see what we can get. I've got the Holden Spin. Low numbers, but we're doing two cent one dollar. Uh, $1, $2, we're switching between. Jess is doing the same on hers. So let's see if we can get something good. Hey, keep it going. Nice. This is on a dollar bet, so. Nice. One more for the grand. Which would be amazing. Yes. I mean, Jess saw online someone got it on 50 cents, so why can't I get it on a dollar? Last spin. Can we get it to finish off the trip in style? Not today. Never mind. Still a decent win. Nice. I'll continue on and see if we can get anything else. We've probably got about an hour until we need to get back to the room. So uh, we'll play for a bit and then we'll have to go. We're back guys. We've got the free spins bonus this time. Which can be a bit temperamental on this game. But what we need is lots of Buddhas. So we'll see if we can get. Or a holding spin would be nice. Oh Major. Holy shit. Holy shit. We've won a major on the last day. Yes. Well, that's uh, topped off our trip nicely. We haven't had a big win all trip. And then we hit a major on the last day. Amazing. So let's see what we can get with it. That's a dollar a bet, two cent Dean on. Hit the major. Amazing. We've been wanting a big hit all trip and uh, it saved it for the last day. Uh, this will be the last spin. Oh no, it's actually, I'm not gonna press this button because I'm gonna take some pictures because we are in free games and they're all gonna disappear if I don't get a ball on this one. So uh, we'll take some pictures quickly. And then uh, I'll continue on in a second. Okay, sorry about that guys, we will continue. And then Jess can probably do a uh, few photos while it's counting up, because she's sitting next to me. Okay. Here we go. You ready for the ka guys? we go that's a 583 dollar major okay it's not a massive major but it'll do nicely we're going to enjoy that music for a while can't 
beat a last, last day big win. Probably going to be the last machine of the trip. And we get that. That's amazing. Sorry guys, we're going to enjoy this for a minute because it hasn't happened all trip. Jesse's taking photos. It's, it wouldn't be so bad if it was just a hold and spin, but I know it's going to go straight into free spins and I'll lose, lose the screen so I won't be able to see it. That's not bad of a first spin bonus, is it? $12 for the rest of it. Very nice. All right, let's see if we can hit it again. Now we've reset the major. Oh, that was all the way. Two spins to go. Last spin. Can we get anything else? Should take it over $600. Oh, not quite. Last spin. Can we get another one? Get another good one. Oh, just short of $600. That's amazing, though. Amazing win. Reset the major to 500. I'll probably run it down to 600 and then take it there. That's an amazing win on the last day. So we're back in again at the Buddhist playing ball today. Uh, we've got another hold and spin. Low numbers this time, but I'm not complaining with anything after that major. Let's see what we can get. Oh, the miner just flashed by there. Last spin, can we get anything else? Yes, we can. Let's keep it going. Nice. Nice. Keep it going. Uh, that's it, very good. Three squares to go, let's take the grand as well. Maybe I was too greedy. Any ball will do. Oh, there's a $50 one went flying past then. Still, keeps me spinning a little bit longer. $21, very nice. Jess has managed to finally get a bonus. Her hundred's down to $8.93. Let's see if it's a good one. A little bit there. It's on a $2 bet, so uh, at least that's something. To do with a hold and spin or lots of wilds. Ball. Oh. oh. Come on. Oh. Two spins to go. We should be able to hit something. Oh, wild all the way. That's not so bad. That should be a middle counter, surely. There we go. Let's see what that is. $51. Very nice. Last spin, though. That should be something. Oh, a bit of queens. Still, not a bad win. Keeps her playing a bit longer. Very nice. At least you got one, babe. Yes. Hello, guys. So the last time we saw you, uh, we were gambling in Mandalay Bay. Um, amazing win to finish the trip. Uh, that will probably be the last of the gambling, because I don't think either of us will end up gambling at the, hotel, at the airport. Um, I might speak to you a little bit from the airport, but... Uh, Jess is just waiting with her cases to uh, get an Uber. She leaves a little bit before me. Uh, her flight's a couple of hours before, and it's obviously an internal one, so we're just waiting for her Uber. Um, so this will be the last you hear from Jess, unless she decides to vlog on her own in the airport. You got any comments, Pep? I don't want to go. 
I mean, I know I'm gonna go see my family, but leaving Vegas is just like very depressing. Yeah, we've had a great trip. Uh, the weather's been nice. Uh, we've had a few dodgy days of weather, but overall it's been very nice. Uh, we'll obviously do a uh, trip recap and things like that when we get back. We might put it on the end of this vlog because I don't think it'll be too long. Um, but yes, uh, we'll sign off here and uh, I'll say goodbye for, to Jess for a week and then she'll come back and uh, <laughs> be with me. But um, yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll speak we, to you we next We hope you enjoyed our crazy adventures and please do excuse the drunken ones because <laughs> those might have been a bit not nice. Yeah, yeah, I might sort of... Uh, to speak to you again from the airport but i don't know whether jess will so we'll close it out here while jess waits for our uber and we'll uh, speak to you in a bit thanks again guys thanks for watching bye playing with a fortune guys in the airport managed to get a gold spin deluxe uh, betting 175 a press I don't know whether I'm allowed to film, so I'm being quiet. Uh, let's see what we get. Hopefully we can get a good one on the gold spin. Okay. Three pointers. Three pointers, one times. That's not bad. Let's see if we can get anything good. Three pointers, so uh, let's see what we can get. Okay, that's not bad. Saying the thousand wasn't there, but it's a good one. I put a hundred in, uh, one seventy five a press. I did get a nice line here. And now I've had that win. Up to 157. I'll probably run it down to 100 and then take it. Back in again, guys. Just a normal spin this time, though. So just one pointer. Doesn't matter if it gives me the jackpot or the thousand, though. Oh, just 45 on that one. Still. Came pretty quickly after the other one. I did get a line hit in between, so it's not bad at all. I might even run it down to 150 now and then take a profit. Hello, guys. So that's pretty much it. Uh, you saw the... Uh, couple of bonuses uh, wheel spins I got on Wheel of Fortune ended up cashing that out uh, for 140 I put 100 in thought I'd give it a go since I'd seen loads of people uh, online saying that they won millions at the airport I mean I wasn't betting high enough to win millions but still thought I'd give Wheel of Fortune a go since there's been loads of wins on that machine at the airport uh, basically just uh, got through security since I last spoke to you uh, and now waiting to uh, board the plane Jess is already on her plane she's about to take off uh, so I'll see her in a week I don't know whether she's done any footage um, I think she had a little gamble as well but I don't know whether she got any bonuses or anything so um, yes I shall uh, leave you here um just want to say thanks a lot for everyone that's watched um it's been great having the support we've been posting on instagram while we've been here there's been quite a lot of people that are uh, keeping in touch with us so uh, it's been nice to uh, interact with some of the people that are followers but yeah thanks for watching uh, especially me droning on with my daily recaps 
Uh, I know they're probably boring, but they're good for me to remember how, what we did in between the things that we forget to mention. So uh, I'll leave you here. And uh, like I say, thanks for watching. I'll do a recap of the trip and everything after this. Uh, you'll see a little bit of on the plane and things like that, but it's a night flight. We don't start flying until 20 past 11, so uh, it'll be a long night. And uh, I think I'm sitting next to two other people, so it might be a bit of an uncomfortable flight, but I'll try and get some sleep and uh, I'll probably take some footage of takeoff and landing, but that'll be about it. So thanks again, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe leave us a comment if you liked it even if you don't like it tell us what we're doing wrong or what you don't like uh, but yeah thanks again i will catch you in the next one see you later guys
Hello guys, uh, back for a recap uh, of the trip. I'll do a quick recap of the last day uh, before we start. We got up and went to the pool. Um, we were going to go the day before, but unfortunately the weather wasn't great. So we decided to go to the pool for an hour or two. The pool was freezing, uh, so we didn't actually get in that time. Um, after that we went to Diablo's, had a nice final dinner at Diablo's. Went back to the room packed the cases, came out uh, about 4pm and went to Mandalay Bay to have a little, last little gamble on the slots. Uh, it didn't start off very well but um, as you saw I uh, won a major just before we finished so that was a good way to end the trip. Uh, we then split up because Jess was going back to California to see her parents. Um, so she left first, put Jess in an Uber, I went back to the room, grabbed my case and then checked out and uh, I don't know what footage I'll put in of the final day and at the airport and things like that, but you'll see it however I edit it anyway. So, yeah, that was pretty much it for the the final day's vlog. We just basically travelled home, or I travelled home to here, and Jess travelled back to our, our old home. <laughs> so uh, that was pretty much it for the last day. Uh, as far as the trip, uh, we just wanted to do a recap of the trip and uh, our thoughts on it. Uh, we started off... Uh, downtown as you saw we've never done that before we started off strip at Gold Coast last time but we've never done downtown before um, it was quite nice to start downtown wasn't it Jess? It's like a pre settle up for us to do the time difference to settle into the actual time difference in Vegas so it's a pre starting mini vacation before your actual vacation yeah it was quite nice uh, we obviously hired a car that was very mm -hmm. handy very easy to do from the airport. We'd definitely recommend that again, as I said in the vlogs. Uh, we stayed at Fremont, which was nice. Uh, we only had the issue of the dirty sheets one night, um, which we got sorted fairly quickly, so um, it didn't put us off at all. Um, we ate at nice places while we were there, got to try new things that we'd never, never sort of tried before because we're having the extra time down there. Something like a merry brunch, which mm -hmm. was a sort of family really family cafe and it was really good we'd definitely recommend and it gives us time to explore downtown a lot of the time we just rush around trying to get as much done as we can in either an afternoon or an overnight stay but mm -hmm. then you've got to go straight back again so it was quite nice to have a few nights at uh, downtown as Jess said it's a, a nice way to settle into the trip slowly and adjust to the time difference uh, after that we moved to Luxor to the strip um, Checked in, no problems. Managed to link all our bookings, no problems. I'll run through a bit of the, about the hotels at the end. Um, we basically just made use of having the car because we had it for the whole a whole week basically. Um, so the first part of the strip bit was uh, a lot of off strip stuff. Mm -hmm. Managed to visit some new casinos. We went to Durango, mm -hmm. which we really enjoyed, didn't yes, we? It was um, nice. The gambling was great as well, which is always a bonus. But uh, we always tend to try and go to Red Rock when we've got a car, so Durango's definitely a good addition and uh, we'll try and go there every time we've got a car, I think. Um, we went to places like Seven Magic Mountains, which is something we've wanted to do for a while but mm -hmm. never actually got to. And then we had some uh, off-strip places, some that we've done before, like Eggworks. Uh, you won't have seen it, but we've been before. Uh, Jesse Ray's we'd been to before but mm -hmm. not at that location because the uh, one next to the strip burnt down unfortunately um, but yeah they're all good um, nice to try some off strip, off strip food and I know Jesse's favourite of the off strip ones was Teco's El Gordo oh yes so, delicious <laughs> so yeah uh, that was always good and if you go to that town square location that we went to there's never a line so yeah I did have a friend message me asking what location we had been to or what time we had been to Tacos del Gordo because it was empty and I was like, you need to go to this other location because the one on the strip always, always, always is either just packed inside or it has a line outside. Whereas this one, mm. it was easy. Got there, we had our time to pick our foods, went up, ordered, they were ready and so quick. So Yeah, it was definitely a place to recommend. Um, after we dropped the car off, we then had a two-night stay at Aria booked. Uh, did it through My Vegas, so it didn't really cost us anything. It was just resort fees. Mm -hmm. um, we had a lovely stay in Aria. We'd never stayed before. Um, 
but we didn't couldn't really fault it, could we? It was no. it was a nice day, nice place to stay. We got to use the pool, which was really nice. Yes. Um, and then obviously the you saw the room as well. If you haven't checked out the room tour, there's one on the channel as well. Uh, while we was there, we used the opportunity of being a bit further up strip to uh, explore mid and north strip. Uh, went to see a show at Beatles Love. Uh, at Mirage, uh, took in the Vol Volcano show, went to Flight Club at Venetian, all of which I'd recommend. Obviously, the uh, Beatles Love and the Volcano, probably by the time this vlog goes out, the Mirage will be shut forever. So that's a bit of a shame, but it's quite. we're very happy that we've got to see it for one last time and yeah. managed to see the Beatles Love show and we did the Volcano show for one last time, which I'll probably do as a separate vlog, uh, not a vlog, but a separate video after the uh, end of the series um, but yeah it was it was a good way to explore the mid to north strip while we were there but we thoroughly enjoyed it and we'd definitely recommend uh, Aria to anyone uh, after we finished with Aria we just basically went back to Luxor and uh, just explored our last few days in Vegas really um, we had some sort of new places we did Whataburger and mm -hmm. Sayalitas which was both very good um, and then we had one sort of final night out if you like uh, it wasn't our final night but one big night out shall we say <laughs> when we uh, got the monorail to North Strip and we spent the whole afternoon and evening and into the next morning as it turned out at North Strip uh, so we spent five hours in Fountain Blue exploring that we loved it we'd definitely go again next trip um, Jess had a great time gambling in there, mine not so much, but um, we uh, had a nice time gambling um, and exploring and had not some nice food. So um, after that, as you saw, we went to Resorts World, tried to get to the Crystal Bar. Unfortunately, it was packed, so we couldn't do that. I had a decent time gambling in Resorts World uh, before we went on to the win and then it got a little bit messy from there. Uh, we've literally just watched the vlog back that we're about to upload and uh, Jess was cringing a little bit at some of the things that was happening on that night. So I, it, I tend to forget that we're going to actually upload this and show you guys. So I just talk and say random stuff. I tend to cuss a lot. I do yeah, apologize. Yeah. But Nigel here has blinked those out. Yeah. But I just forget and I say random things and I do random funny things and then when he plays it I'm like oh my god why did I do that but I hope you enjoy it and you have a laugh just like I did. <laughs> yep it's quite a long vlog so uh, I think it's just under an hour and a quarter but uh, you'd have watched it probably already so uh, yeah Jess it seems that when Jess starts drinking <laughs> the more f-bombs come out so I'm like oh I'm gonna have to edit that out so um, yeah, there'll be a few bleeps in that one, but never mind. We had a great night though. Um, we probably um, put too much money in Huff and More Puff, yeah. or even More Puff rather. Um, but we really wanted to try and get a new bonus. But we had an amazing day, and uh, only left there down our daily budget. And after mm -hmm. all the gambling and drinking and all food, it didn't cost us that much for what we did so it was great definitely recommend the chocolate martinis yes chocolate martinis are definitely a winner in the uh, in the win mm -hmm. um so then it was basically uh we had a, a last sort of full day uh pottering around the strip did a few bits and pieces uh, as we was waiting uh on the last day basically uh and then went out for one final evening it was good um we we had a great time Went back to Tom's Urban, didn't actually, um, unfortunately, didn't get great service, but it it didn't dampen our spirits for the last mm. night. We still had a great night on on the last night, and then, like I say, the final day, um, we just went to the pool um, and uh, chilled out, went to Diablo's, and uh, then got ready and went to the airport after a little bit of gambling in Mandalay Bay. So, overall, our gambling. I, for the trip, I would say was okay. It was up and down. Jess had, I think, more winning days than I did. I had quite a lot of losing days. But then I hit the major on the last day, which bumped it up and saved my trip, basically. But we had some good wins. Um, a couple of times on Dragon Links at the end of the night, basically got our full daily budget back for 
on the last game of the night, which was amazing. Uh, Jess obviously had her all aboard win of three hundred and twenty something dollars, which is her biggest ever win. Yes. On a, on her own, so that was great. Obviously, on Huff and even more Puff, as you saw, we got the mansion bonus for the first time ever, so that was amazing mm -hmm. um, for over two hundred and thirty dollars. And then on the last day, me hitting that major was a, a amazing way to round off the trip. Um, I think I kept cashed out with a six hundred dollar ticket after that in the end. So that was an amazing bit as well. Um, as far as hotels, we obviously stayed at Fremont. That was a completely comp offer with Boyd. Um, we always play a little bit on Boyd properties whenever we're there, as we said on the last trip. And Jess keeps getting comp offers, mm -hmm. so there's no resort fees. Completely comped. Uh, so it's worth definitely putting some money in a Boyd property if you can, because you don't have to put that much in, and they generally give you comp offers. Uh, then we moved to a Luxor, which we never have any problems with. We always enjoy staying there. Mm -hmm. um, this time we got a pyramid room instead of a tower room. Um, but again, it's a bigger room. Uh, it's not quite as luxury maybe as the tower room, but we really there's enjoyed more space. it. Yeah, there's more space to move around. And when you're there for the length of time where you generally go to Vegas, it's, it's handy to uh, have a bit more space. Um, and then obviously the Aria, two nights in Aria, my Vegas comp. So uh, I'll put the figures of what we did um, for like Luxor, how much it cost us and everything like that um, up on the screen while I was talking about Luxor. Um, but Luxor, we only paid a bit of resort fee, I believe, on this trip. I'll have to check it, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, but for Aria and Fremont, Fremont was completely comp. Aria was just resort fees. And then I think a bit of Jesse's booking at, at Luxor was resort fee only mm -hmm. because I get full comps. Even though I'm Pearl, or I was Pearl, I dropped down a level now, um, they still give me free resort fees at the lower end properties, which is quite nice. So we tend to take advantage of it, and that's why we stay at the lower end properties so we don't have to pay the resort fees. Uh, My Vegas, we used as usual, uh, we didn't use it as much as we try and do because um, March Madness was on so that basically took out a whole Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday while we were there but we still managed to use Moneyline mm -hmm. Pizza and Tom's Urban's a great one um, 240 ounce beers for $21 I mean you can't argue with that so we definitely recommend you get that one and obviously the Aria 2 Night Comp I don't believe that's still on there now but um, it might come back it's definitely worth keeping an eye out for so it's basically just uh, to talk about our favourite and worst parts of the trip. So, what have you got for your favourite trip part? Uh, there's probably three things favourite. Okay. One, all the food we tried. Different food that we usually don't do. I enjoyed all of them. They were really good. Uh, two would be our stay in Aria and the pool mm -hmm. time. Yeah. That was just... It was a proper relaxing moment. Uh, we like to gamble, so... We're always kind of doing something and have plans here, plans there. But Aria just seemed like an actual relaxing moment, which I enjoyed. And yep. three, which should probably be my number one, Stacos del Gordo. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> so we're going for your, for your tacos as your favourite. Yes, yes. Um, and your worst? Um, I'm going to say probably the sheets, the dirty sheets. Okay. I understand housekeeping is busy and they have to change tons of sheets everywhere but when you come in we obviously it was the first couple of days we tend to come back for a quick nap because mm -hmm. we're a bit drained and then go out for the evening so we came back got in bed and I was like uh no get out get off the bed now and it was just not we don't like to complain but it was just not okay mm -hmm. and the second one would probably be the service at Tom's watch bar the second time we got put like in a very end side of the bar mm -hmm. where there's like two areas open. We got put on the area that was already closed and then the lady just forgot about us. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it was just a bit disappointing. But but like I just said, we still had fun afterwards. It's just during that moment, it was like, really? Yeah. We want to pay. She's like, oh, I'll go get the bill. Didn't come back. Yeah. So it was just like, right, so I'm going to have to go look for you to get my bill. Yeah. But. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to say that was one of my worst parts of the trip as well because it just, 
it took far too long. It was our final dinner of our final, like our final night there. Mm. So we wanted to get in quick, have a couple of beers or a couple of angry orchards, <laughs> and and go and and enjoy our last night. And we were in there over two hours, and for nachos and chicken wings and beers. So it was a bit annoying for the final night. Uh, like you said about the Fremont, that's that wasn't ideal either. But yeah, the Tom's. Uh, apart from that, I don't really think I had a bad part of the trip. No. Um, as far as good parts, I really enjoyed checking out the new hotel, uh, new casinos. Durango was amazing. Fountain Blue was amazing. We had a great time in both of those. So that would definitely be one of my favourite parts of the trip. Uh, trying out uh, new new drinks and things. We went to um, Vanderpump and we mm -hmm. went to Old Red. They were both really good. Um, yeah, so I can't really... Uh, think of anything else that was one of my favorites but yeah we had a really good time really enjoyable trip uh just got to say thank you so much for all the support uh for this series it's blown our minds mm -hmm. isn't it sort of when we started i think we were on 160 subscribers and we're currently on 280 something uh, when i'm recording this so it's just amazing support um and please continue to watch because it really does mean a lot to us, especially if you comment. We, we always reply to comments, good or bad. We'd like to know mm -hmm. what you think of our videos. So it's uh, really nice to uh, have people watching and uh, supporting us. So uh, just want to thank you for that. Uh, we do have a trip planned in the pipeline, uh, but we won't announce it just yet because we've got some final some things to finalise still. But there is another trip planned for this year, which is pretty nuts, seeing as we originally said we weren't going to go out of Vegas yeah. this year. So we will be back very shortly. Well, not that shortly, but <laughs> we'll be back shortly to tell you when we're going away. Um, but yes, we have got another trip planned for the year this year, um, but we'll be back uh, to tell you about that in a few weeks' time, probably. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, anything else you've got to say, Jess? Just thank you, thank you, thank you, and sorry for all my F-bombs. Yeah. yeah, we'll try and cut as many as we can out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, put a, I'll have to get a swear jar for Jess. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, comment on the videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.